And a reminder always for myself, an abdukul ajisu da'ifu miskinu zalimu jahan and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us immense mercy to see the month of Ramadan and to enter into its first day of fasting and alhamdulillah victoriously accomplished. As you get older it looks scarier but alhamdulillah Allah's infinite rahman and mercy and ishq and love to uphold the way of Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Rabbi let me to adhere to what Prophet has brought for us, that brought to us by Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah's rahmah upon us for the sake of that love. That I want you to uphold his way. I want to grant an honor and tashrif to Sayyidina Muhammad and my rahmah dress you and bless you so that you can fulfill that obligation. And every time something seems difficult, Allah's rahmah comes and lifts up. That what you ask me and anything that you ask me for the sake of that love, my rahmah dress you and lift you and take you into that presence to be dressed by that. That these nasheeds teach us that it's not me Ya Rabbi, I'm nothing but grant me this honour, grant me this honour on this earth so that I can uphold that way so that I can be eternally seated at a seat of honour with all my love and ishq in the presence of that one whom I love with all my soul and all my being. That grant me that honour, grant me that ability, grant me that ajr and good deeds. And that's why they teach. That's why they open their homes for people to sit and to eat and to pray. It's a caravan for all those in despair, those whom everything is fantastic for them, they don't see our caravan and they don't see this oasis. And the wisdom of Allah giving hardship and sadness and difficulty to people is so that they can see the miraculous mirage on a horizon. The eyes become filled with material world and they don't see an oasis of spiritual people. They don't see a caravan of love and ishq. And the hikmah and the wisdom of Allah giving a difficulty somebody in their life and everyone has their own stories. And the difficulty comes and takes everything from their eyes of this world and all they can see is that desert. And then Allah began to open for them, look, don't look with so much despair, there's a caravan of hope, join them. And we found that caravan many years ago and it was a, a caravan of najat and salvation. and introduced an immense love within the heart. And that became our journey. We enjoyed being in the caravan until the shaykhs said, make a caravan. And from what we learned and this way of ishq and love, we set out. And the more people we reach, and the more people we teach and the more people we sit and eat and, and even receive emails from, it increases 
our love with the Divine, the Presence. It makes our garden to be beautiful, makes the garden to be refreshed and fragrant. New faces come, new faces email, continuously a spring that's alive and flowing and gives us hope. Our vans are out giving food, our people are out giving food, our people are out being of service and doing whatever possible from this example gives us hope that, Ya Rabbi, if you find anything good in what we do, save us, dress us and bless us, our families and our children and our communities, the weak among us, Ya Rabbi, Take from the strong their good deeds and grant to those whom are weaker and not able to complete. Don't leave them from this mercy. Make our paradise to be wide. And this nasheeds and Salawats, they're from awliya who also all suffered, pious people whom suffered, worshippers who suffered. They suffered in this way of love that this one line, Madad guftam a shaykh shudam. I said madad and I fell in love. I said madad and I fell in love and gave me a whole purpose of my life. I joined the caravan, I learned the madad and I fell in love. And that love gave me a purpose, a, a hope for my eternal soul and the blessing so much and so great that the torment became that, what about all those I love? Will they too be dressed? Will they be blessed? No longer for the self, but who wants a paradise by themselves? We want it filled with all those whom we love and whom we've come across in our lives, who've touched us, affected us, that we want a paradise filled with this ishq and this love and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and all the Prophets, all the Ashiqeen, all the lovers of the Divine. And alhamdulillah that that line for us is, Madad guftam o Ashiq shudam. I said my madad and I became in love. And that's the secret of success upon this path. You didn't find this because you were clever. You're not sitting here because you're clever. You're not watching online because you're clever. This is an opportunity that Allah grants God, whatever we want to call the Almighty, the All-Powerful, grants us an opportunity. Go to that oasis, take a drink, some stay for five minutes, they took a sip. Some stay for a lifetime and they're drinking oceans of realities. Sit with them so that they can reach to you our way and grant to you, give to you this way of the caravan. And as soon as we understood this concept of madad and learned how to call, how to keep the company وَكُلُمَا صَادِقِينِ اِتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Have a consciousness of Allah and keep the way of the truthful. Allah doesn't talk for the dunya, Allah talks for the soul. Keep the companions of the truthful, keep the way of truthfulness. They taught us that make your connection, visualize your connection in dunya and in akhirah and never leave that connection. And as soon as we learn to make the connection, we fell in love. And only Allah come and begin to teach 
that if you think you're going to live on this world and you're going to make the choices we talked from last night and the night before of destiny, everybody faces on a road two paths. You go left, you go right. If you're hoping that you make the choices, well we have many friends like that, Let's see where they end up. Everyone at every moment is continuously walking and a path to the left and to the right opens. And they make the choice, they make the wrong choice and they face immense hardships. Hardships that are known to them and maybe many hardships which they have no understanding they were granted a hardship. Somebody could go to immense rays, an immense opportunity and you say, wow that looks like he's so successful, it means Allah just threw him over a cliff because his success will destroy him and his family. It means things we can't imagine that we think, oh that was the right choice to Allah it may be completely the wrong choice that was made. And that's life, they, they keep choosing left, right, left or right, series of difficult consequences and they think of destiny that, oh I'll make the right choices and I'll get to my destination, not with GPS, not with a map, just making guesses. Imagine where that would get you on this world. There's parts of Vancouver or Los Angeles, you make the wrong turn, you're on a street that you'll never get out of, literally. You turn the wrong way that you won't make it to the end of the block. If Allah is saying, for this is for dunya, it's so difficult, so precarious every choice you're making. You think Allah's heavens is easier to traverse? No. So the awliya come and remind us, madad guftam wa shaykh shudam. That is the immense reality, the juzbah, even in the song is talking about the juzbah. That as soon as they learned to make madad, they understood that they're connecting with Allah's most powerful, powerful magnet and that your heart is a magnet. Your heart is a magnet and that which you direct it to will call you. If you direct it to your property, to your dunya, it will pull, the dunya will pull you, connect onto your heart and begin to pull. And the pull is so strong that as soon as they get to that fork in the road, the pull pulls to the wrong choice. Then they walk a little bit more. Pulling of their dunya pulls them to the wrong choice, wrong choice. And that's why Allah teach, I created no man with two hearts. And Prophet is coming to teach us to be vigilant of your heart, be vigilant of your desire, be vigilant of this, this v organ and vessel that can contain Allah's Divinely love, where you're going to direct it to will be your success or your destruction. So when Allah wants to guide and love somebody, He guides them to the people of madad. There's a tariqahs, nobody says madad, nobody… We have oh, rabita, it's rabita, it's connection. You hear it in everyday language, Rabbita bi um chia, Rabbita bi um… Rabbita means your relationship, but it's not your relationship, what is your connection? Like Rabbita, it's in Farsi, do you have it in Urdu, Rabbita? No, no. What's your connection with the person? We use it in everyday life but then they're surprised to hear it in meditation and spiritual training. That when Allah loves you, He guides you that to the people of the heart. This most powerful organ that you have, if you just shine it on everything, it will direct you in the wrong direction. Because everything in this creation 
is like a magnet trying to attract your heart. That's the game. And Allah wants that, direct your heart to my most powerful magnets, to the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad because his, his body is known. They so say, why do you not say Isa? Because where is Isa salam? They're looking for a cup. You know, ever thought why Allah kept that a mystery for the world? He didn't want them. Where's Sayyidina Musa salam? They're searching. But Allah gave to us, no you don't have to search, go to Medina. Sayyidina Muhammad is fresh in his reality, fresh in that presence. My most powerful magnet, not hidden, known, nothing hidden, no mystery. Direct your heart to that love, to that ishq, to that good characteristics. Talk softly, walk softly, have a love and compassion within your heart. As a result they taught how to connect, how to connect. As soon as the heart learned the direction of that magnet, the reality of that magnet, it said madad and fell in love. It said it's madad and began to fall in love. And all these nasheeds and all these associations and all these praisings and all these videos and all these teachings are an expression of that love. And as a result of that love it keeps pulling me. It keeps pulling me. Every choice you want to make you think if it was left up to you, we would make all the wrong choices. Ana abdukul ajeezu, da'eefu, miskeenu, zalimu, jahal, I'm an oppressor to myself my Lord. Don't leave choices to me. He said, when they shut your head off and turn on the love in your heart, that magnet will pull you, will direct you. That's when Allah is describing you. He's a hudan, he's a guide wasallam. His magnet, if you direct yourself to that love, the heart of Prophet will begin to pull you in with that juzbah. And every time you're about to make the wrong step that love turns on a little bit more power, come this way. And you correct your step and keep coming, keep coming. And the magnet has so much love and so much ishq why we call Rasul Kareem. Allah made it to be of an immense generosity that as you're coming I want to fulfill my obligations but maybe my health won't allow it and then Allah's rahmah comes and dresses. If the magnet's pulling you, I'm supporting you. And this is the infinite love of the Divinely Presence, this is the relationship of this ishq. Because this madad and ishq is calling us, but Ya Rabbi I don't have the ability, I may not have the health, I may not have the strength, I may not have the rizq, the sustenance, whatever it is we think we don't have. Allah says, if the magnet calling you, I'm supporting you. If the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad calling you anywhere on this earth, you will get there. This dunya, anything of rizq needed and the magnet calling you for that, you will get there. Anything, anything that the magnet is calling, this ishq and love of Sayyidina Muhammad is calling upon you to accomplish that, Allah is the one whom will make it to happen. Then how then you cannot be in love? How can you not be thankful? How can you not think of ways to express the ishq and the love that, Ya Rabbi, that anything we, we put into our hearts of an ability, you grant it from it. And you grant it, I know because of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad this is the relationship. If Allah if Prophet 
is calling it, supporting it, Allah is blessing it and making it to happen. That nothing on heaven and earth can stop when Allah Sifat al-Aziz. That nothing will stop, you have nothing to worry about. But if my Rasul is not on board, not signing, no way. You're not going to get me to come separately. This, this is the secret of this ishq. So that's why these associations, that's why people at home, why are they sitting and praising so much upon Sayyidina Muhammad Because he's the key of rahmah In every difficulty and every sadness and everything that's locked, it can only be opened by the love of Prophet when he looks and he's happy and as soon as he's rid on satisfaction, happy, each soul is being under observation, what is it that you're in need of? I'm happy with you, I'm with you, I'm accepting. As a result Allah facilitating. And that's the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Because La ilaha illallah never will reach you. If Muhammadun Rasulullah is not there first, if Prophet didn't sign, what are Allah going to do with you? That's why these ishq, these associations, these majlis open everything, open everything. Because before you think you're going to get the attention of Allah the creator of all entire universes, He's teaching, why don't you have the attention of My Messenger? The one whom I love and sent as a guidance, why is the guide not focusing on you? And that becomes our deficiencies, that's why those people have a lot of difficulty. They have a lot of bad character, a lot of anger, a lot of bad speech. Why? Because Allah's rahmah not upon them, Allah's beauty and fragrance not upon them. So the, the beautific garden, it smells like roses. It speaks like roses, it's sweet and tastes like roses, qulab. We even put qulab, qulab jana huh, on your desserts. Why? Because we all want to eat from the rose. Why? Gulam Muhammadi. So that's the secret of that sweetness. That when we have Prophet with us, loving us, accepting what we're asking, what we're needing, that I'm coming short on this, I'm in inability to do this, I'm, I'm gaining age, I can't do these things. Whatever it is that we are in need of, these associations of love, you can even take at home your salawat book and keep reciting salawats. Keep making nasheeds to get the attention of Prophet that's all the shaykhs are. They're the representation of the Muhammadan light amongst you in you and all around you. As soon as you sit in their association and watch their association, you're in the soul of the shaykh. Where do you think his light is? Here and you're there? Hmm? No. Our lights are everywhere beyond even the understanding of this room. How big is the soul? When they see themselves open up, the entire earth fits in their hand. Look at the size of this universe compared to the, the arwa of Sayyidina Muhammad These are like cells. This earth and this galaxy like a cell. When they have a spiritual vision of their soul opening, they see the earth in their hand. To see the size and the vastness of their light. Where that light end and begin. So as soon as you sit in their majlis, you're in their soul. They're the more prominent light so they overtake all your light, right? So if you go in the middle of the day, look at the sunlight, light a candle and put the candle up. You don't see the candle anymore, you're blinded by the sun. The candle has no, no illumination, looms. It illuminates nothing in the presence of that sun. So means then this ishq and this love 
is a magnet that calls us and pulls us in and dresses us and blesses us and makes everything to be facilitated that is wanted by the heavens. We're not talking the material world. We pray that Allah grant us from this love and this ishq. These are the ten days of mercy. It's by virtue of these salawats, anyone having difficulty in Ramadan or anyone who just wants a more beatific Ramadan, make lots of salawats on Sayyidina Muhammad This is the gate of rahmah that opens, means the soul of Prophet is open. As soon as everyone intends, that light begin to dress them like a magnet that pulls them. As a result of Prophet being with them, Allah's rahmah dressing them. And this the immensity of rahmah when Allah describing. First ten days of Ramadan means sun-baked. Ramadan, sun-baked. So who's the sun? Means you're baked and cooked by Prophet it's light. It could have been et minan nar on the first ten days and Ramadan would have been five people fasting. Two billion starting, by second day five billion in it, five, five people completing because <laughs> it would have been no rahmah, it would have been impossibly difficult. Every obstacle and every difficulty would have come to the servant but Allah wants success. We pray that Allah dress us from this rahmah, bless us from this rahmah and that Prophet be happy and pleased with us and intercede for us. Anything wrong and deficient in what we're doing that He intercede for us, perfect that light and present us to Allah pure and purified inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. Wa basira Surat Al-Fatihah